Let the bullets fly for a while. No it should be said that we let the missile fly for a while. A weapon carrying an energy bomb and supplemented by a propulsion device can definitely be called a small missile, and its power after it explodes is definitely not inferior to any small missile. Something's wrong. Although Magneto does not have the mutant ability of crisis premonition, as a normal life, he will actually have a strong premonition when death is close at hand. This is the instinct of every living thing. It is not limited to humans, but also to other animals and life forms. Naturally, this also includes mutant, who always likes to separate himself from the ranks of humans. How should I put it? Saying that mutant is not a human is actually not true. It's not a wrong statement. After all, before Chu Mu traveled through time, the company that created the Marvel Universe in that world had already publicly claimed that mutants were not human in order to pay less tax when selling toys. Even mutant's creator said that mutants are not human beings, so no one can refute the characterization given by the creator, right? Back to business. Led by the propulsion device, the energy bomb, although not as fast as the supersonic missiles of later generations, still passed through numerous obstacles in the sandstorm at extremely fast speeds and approached Magneto. Um. Death is coming. Magneto also reacted immediately. He felt a panic in his heart for no reason, and subconsciously looked in the direction of the energy bomb. Because the distance was extremely close, even though the field of vision was not clear now, Magneto still saw the bomb speeding towards him. Although Magneto did not read much, he was not a fool. Even if he had never seen such a thing before, he could still tell that it was some kind of destructive weapon. He didn't have time to think about why there were weapons attacking him. He almost reflexively raised his hand to control that missile that kept approaching him. However, useless. Magneto was shocked. He didn't feel the presence of metal on the missile, so naturally, he couldn't use his ability to interfere with the missile's flight trajectory. How to say? Hydra's research on this special weapon was unable to find a suitable metal to carry it because of certain characteristics of the Tesseract energy. Never thought about it. This kind of weapon, which could only be developed from non-metallic materials and had to invest a huge amount of money as a last resort, now does not carry any metal properties but has become the biggest threat to its target. Without metal that can be controlled, Magneto cannot achieve the kind of control effect that can easily control missiles, and even control a battlefield, which can be called a war nemesis. The energy bomb continued to fly toward Magneto without being affected at all. Facing this circumstances, Magneto, who knew that his body was mortal and could not even withstand bullets, could only deal with the dangerous environment around him while hurriedly manipulating the surrounding metal to build a metal shield in front of him, trying to block missile attacks in this way. It is also thanks to the huge improvement in his ability before. Otherwise, he would never be able to do such a large-scale multi-line operation with his initial ability. Can only say, Magneto's luck is pretty good. Well, I should say it's quite good. Before the missile approached, the metal shield was built at a safe distance in front of his body. Magneto is not slow at manipulating metal, strictly speaking. It can even be considered very fast. After all, the speed of thinking is infinitely close to the speed of light. Even if it is affected by the reaction speed, it can still have bullet level reactions. The only thing that can be considered slow is the process. It is the speed at which the metal becomes liquid and then reorganizes into a shield. However, this speed is definitely faster than many people holding an object and putting it in front of themselves as a shield. Magneto can be called the king of mutants in the future, and the mutant ability he possesses is naturally not weak. You must know that he is a 10th level mutant with Charles. All are alpha level mutants. In the absence of bug level mutants like the omega level, the alpha level mutant is already the pinnacle of mutants. Charles's psychic ability can even link the life of an entire planet. The magnetic control possessed by Magneto at the same level is naturally also extraordinary. Anyway, even if Newton comes, he will definitely give a thumbs up and call him an expert. Definitely. Being able to have enough time to build a metal shield is also thanks to the energy bomb. With the assistance of the propulsion device, it also needs to avoid the torrent of gravel and mud in the environment. The storm caused by the battle between Chu Mu and the tentacle monster is not small, it is definitely more complex and changeable than the most intense battlefield. If you don't avoid those raging obstacles, the energy bomb will definitely not be able to hit the target. Fortunately, since energy bombs have not yet been mass produced, the experimental value and cost of each energy bomb are very high, so the propulsion device it is equipped with is also full of black technology. It has the function of automatically tracking and avoiding obstacles along the way. Because of this, only then can it pass through numerous obstacles and keep locking Magneto accurately. Magneto was able to have enough time to build the shield thanks to this, because the trajectory of the energy bomb was not a straight line to avoid obstacles. It takes more distance to give Magneto enough reaction time, 
Without the ability to automatically lock and avoid obstacles in such a complex environment, the bomb would have hit something else midway, and then was directly detonated by something else. The technology of automatic tracking and obstacle avoidance, don't ask, it is the black technology that Hydra controls now. No one knows which scientist who has enlightenment comes from. It may also be technology cracked by Hydra in some alien ruins. In any case, the energy bomb's propulsion device is equipped with this technology. Original. Hydra scientists equipped energy bombs with this technology. The original intention was that energy bombs could be secretly taken to those fierce battlefields to conduct experiments and record data. In order to cope with the complex and changeable environment on the battlefield and prevent any energy bomb from losing its experimental role, the energy bomb is equipped with such an equally expensive supporting setting. Never thought about it. At this time, the energy bomb helped Red Skull lock the target under conditions that ordinary people could not imagine. It spun around numerous obstacles and rushed towards Wansi village. Clatter, fortunately, Magneto has extremely excellent combat ability. The shield he constructed appeared in front of the energy bomb. The rapid construction made it difficult for the avoidance system of the propulsion device to calculate in advance. The energy bomb inevitably collided with the metal shield, the fuse was triggered. Energy bombs are triggered no differently than most missiles. It is also the simplest way to trigger the fuse. At the moment it hit the metal shield, the reaction process inside the energy bomb was released, and the entire bomb suddenly bloomed with a brilliant blue luster. Dangerous and striking. If it were in an ordinary scene, it would definitely be an extremely eye-catching picture. But. Among the horrifying scenes caused by the battle between Chu Mu and the tentacle monster, it was obscured by the dust in the sky. Even Magneto, who was the closest, could only see a blue light. That moment. The hairs all over Magneto's body stood on end. Apart from the previous encounters with the tentacle monster and Chu Mu, he had never had such a strong intuition before. Very dangerous. That weird missile launched towards you is very dangerous. All of a sudden, Magneto didn't even wait for the bomb to explode completely. His natural combat intuition guided him to activate his ability in a hurry, and he tried his best to pull out large pieces of metal from the harsh environment where the storm was raging around him, and moved it as fast as possible. A new shield protection was built behind the first shield. Can't stop it. Magneto's instincts were warning him wildly. Because of this, he no longer cared about other things, and did not hold back at all. He desperately pulled as much metal as he could from the surroundings. A metal shield. Two metal shields. Three metal shields. Magneto desperately piled up the armor in front of him without any hesitation or intention to stop. He knew that he had once again encountered an unprecedented crisis. Following Magneto's reaction, the energy bomb exploded, and the terrifying blue light bloomed rapidly as if it was going to swallow everything. Boom. In the noisy surrounding environment, the collision of the energy bomb and the metal shield did not cause much ripples, and the sound was also masked by the echoing roars of the surrounding tentacle monsters. But. With the full explosion of energy bombs, the metal shield, which was enough to withstand most bombs on the battlefield, dissolved almost instantly. No the adjective dissolution cannot be used, but the annihilation that Red Skull mentioned before should be used. In an instant, a metal shield tens of centimeters thick was swallowed by a black hole. Not even a single bit of residue was left behind. It destroyed the first metal shield built by Magneto, as simple and easy as destroying a piece of tofu. The aftermath of the explosion continued to spread in all directions without weakening at all, and everything around the energy bomb explosion was also annihilated. Whether it is a torrent of mud or the remains of mountains and rivers, in the face of a power that even steel cannot withstand, it instantly meets the same fate as a metal shield. Boom. After the defense of the first metal shield was disintegrated, the spread of the explosion devastated the second one, as well as the third metal shield behind the second one. Without any exaggeration, there are a lot of metal cards erected by Magneto. It is estimated that even anti-armor missiles will have difficulty breaking through, but they are so powerless under the explosion of energy bombs. Damn it. Seeing the metal shield in front of him constantly shrinking, Magneto's pupils have shrunk to the size of a pinpoint file. While he is constantly building new shields, he is also controlling the metal disc under his feet, and he is speeding away towards the back as if his speed is maxed out. Go in order to create more distance. Constantly back away. Constantly build metal shields. He is still constantly perceiving the destruction of his metal shields. What the hell are they? Magneto was already filled with horror and moaning. Before leaving the Nazi concentration camp, he thought that mutants were the most peculiar existences in the world. Even. He also feels that mutants who control supernatural powers are the future of the earth, just like humans replaced apes many years ago. As the number of mutants increases, mutants will definitely replace current humans in the future. Once upon a time, 
Magneto believed in this idea. In nature, the weak eat the strong and the fittest survive. Mutants are better individuals than humans and can definitely replace humans just like humans replaced apes. Even if we push the time forward and look at the history of the development of life on the entire Earth, the iterative process of life is always like this. Magneto has always felt that mutants like himself are the future. With this thought, he also thought about killing mutant Sebastian Shaw, his enemy, after finding him, and then working hard for the rise of mutant in the coming days. Do princes and generals like Shang Ning have the guts? Magneto, who prides himself on being extraordinary, naturally has some thoughts, but this idealistic thought is now shattered by the events that have happened one after another today. The appearance of a person who was suspected to be close to his future daughter made him feel that his power was nothing more than that, and not long after, he discovered that the person was still a god. Oh my god. I thought that mutant was the top of the pyramids on earth, but I found out that there are real gods in this world. Who in the world can understand that kind of gap and fear? Family. Who knows? This was a mentality that Magneto had already had before, and monsters like tentacle monsters that covered the sky made Magneto feel that the descriptions of monsters in the movie were too euphemistic. Whether in front of Chu Mu or the tentacle monster, Magneto deeply felt his own weakness, and his originally strong self confidence had been completely destroyed. But now, a weapon of unknown origin made Magneto's mentality explode. Adding insult to injury, his ability has always been useful in modern warfare, but he has no use against this weapon, and the power of this weapon has refreshed his outlook on life. Turn out to be, except for gods and monsters, there are still things that can easily destroy steel. I really hope this is just a dream. Magneto's heart was roaring with panic. He had almost drained all his potential at the moment and the speed at which he could control the disc and build metal defenses was maxed out. Faster than ever. Under these successive life and death crises, his ability seemed to have achieved a new breakthrough, and his ability to control metal became a little stronger again. How to say? Alpha-level mutants are like this. Dot the crisis of life and death can best stimulate their potential, and Magneto is in such a situation now. If he couldn't resist it, if he let that blue light envelope him, Magneto was sure that no matter how lucky he was, there would be no chance of survival. Not to mention surviving. It is estimated that not a single bit of bones will be left behind. It will simply disappear and evaporate from the world. No one knows the power of the explosion better than him who controls the metal to resist the explosion. Even when the king of understanding came, he didn't understand it. Really. The energy bomb that Red Skull has high hopes for does indeed possess extremely terrifying power, otherwise it would not be regarded by Red Skull as a weapon that can help him unify the world. If it were not for the inability to mass produce due to technical constraints, this kind of weapon could be considered a dimensionality reduction strike on the modern battlefield. Strictly speaking, the power of this energy bomb even exceeds that of nuclear bombs that have not yet been invented. As everyone knows, nuclear bombs refer to weapons that use the huge energy released by explosive nuclear reactions to cause damage and destruction to targets. Explosive nuclear reactions are the use of self-sustaining and rapid atomic nuclear fission or fusion reactions to instantly release huge energy to produce nuclear reaction explosions, resulting in devastating killing and destruction effects. A country that is living a good life will use its selfless sacrifices in a few years to provide a large number of blueprints for data related to the practical application of nuclear bombs. As the most top-notch weapon created by mankind after tens of thousands of years of development, it goes without saying that the explosive power of nuclear bombs is extremely powerful. Even in the future timeline of the Marvel Universe, Iron Man also used the World Security Council to release a nuclear bomb to New York with the intention of destroying the entire New York, destroying many of the warships sent to the Earth by the South. This kind of weapon still poses a certain threat to the developed civilizations in the universe. But although the explosion power of nuclear bombs is very powerful, and the range of influence is indeed very wide, but in terms of localized lethality, the power of nuclear bombs is obviously not as powerful as the energy bomb developed by Hydra. Based on the limited practical application of nuclear bombs from the scene, it can be seen that even if a city is destroyed, many things will still be preserved, and survivors can even be found in the underground vault of the bank at the center of the explosion. The power of nuclear bombs, it's just that it's huge compared to life. Otherwise, if all mankind's nuclear bombs are detonated at the same time, it will only give the Earth a small massage humanity will only destroy its own civilization. Nuclear bombs are powerful, but, it is just a basic application of the laws of the universe. The laws of physics are in the Marvel Universe. It is not the most supreme law, in comparison. The energy bomb created by Hydra is actually more high level. Its explosion does not rely on high temperature and shockwave. It carries a property like, annihilation. 
This also carries the power of law. Whether it is life, steel, or soil, all living beings are equal in the face of this kind of explosion. Even if it were taken to the universe, it is estimated that not many civilizations can control such an explosion. A weapon beyond its time. It indeed possesses power that transcends the times. The Tesseract is, after all, the most precious treasure in the universe, and the energy studied and stolen from it naturally contains the most essential amount of the universe. If it weren't for the limited technological development on Earth, and Hydra's technological researchers weren't the best in the universe, it wouldn't be difficult to use Tesseract to create weapons that could easily explode stars. This is also the reason why there are so many civilizations in the universe who want to get this secret treasure of the universe. That is to say, Hydra has not yet reached the level of cosmic civilization at the technical level, so the range of energy bombs created with Tesseract is so limited. It's probably only equivalent to the range that tactical nuclear bombs can reach. If the developed civilizations in the universe were to know that the people on Earth had used the Tesseract to only create this kind of toy, like thing, each of those civilizations in the universe would definitely call Hydra a waste of resources. Tesseract. That is the application of Space Gem. It can definitely achieve better results, after all. There is no strong or weak distinction between infinite gems in the strict sense. They are all things of the same level. In the Big Bang theory, they were all born at the same time after the Big Bang. They represent the embodiment of the law of the operation of the entire universe. And in the doctrine of the Furies, they all come from the self-decomposition of the Furies. A person's body. The head, arms and souls of the feet are obviously equally important. Definitely, in the hearts of some animals during the courtship period, the tool for reproducing their own offspring may be more important than other parts. No matter what, no matter which infinite gems come from, the power levels of the six infinite gems are actually at the same level. Infinite gems. They are almost the first things to exist in the universe, and they are also the most powerful objects in the universe. The shapes of the gemstones are all one to two inches long and oval with a smooth surface. The power gem can smash it to the ground and directly disintegrate and destroy a planet larger than the Earth. The space gem can naturally have the same power. In fact, exploding stars can only be regarded as a basic operation. If someone can really find the correct way to use a level single universe cosmic secret treasure, the power it can unleash will be absolutely terrifying. Many people think that the check and balance of infinite gems is to use infinity gauntlet. In fact, this is not the case. The use of infinity gauntlet is at best the most superficial application of infinite gems. Just like humans discovered fire when they were using fire to bake food, Infinity Gauntlet just used a clever way to connect the power of six infinite gems, and then used the infinite gems in an extremely original way. Not the most reasonable use of infinite gems. In today's universe, no one has yet found the most scientific way to use infinite gems, there is no wrong use of the word science. In fact, any reasonable use of law can be called science. Even the case of Chu Mu using divine power can be summarized and summarized scientifically. The word science is not a development direction in a narrow sense. It is a way of summarizing the optimal solution. The way Hydra uses the power of Tesseract is obviously not scientific enough, but even this is enough to create extremely terrifying weapons. The birth of the energy bomb may have been a waste of resources, but the energy of the Tesseract it contained was still a terror that few people in the universe could contend with. For this, of course Red Skull didn't know. He also thought that his Hydra had found the correct way to use Tesseract. Definitely his confidence in the Tesseract energy explosion was not wrong. It is indeed not a power that humans on Earth can compete with. That's it. Go to hell. Red Skull became excited when he saw the blue light emitted after the energy bomb exploded. In his eyes, Magneto was already considered a dead man. What about mutants? You are not vulnerable to the power you control. And those two monsters? Red Skull no longer looked in the direction of Magneto, but used his own instrument to aim at Chu Mu and the tentacle monster. He wanted to see the demise of these two guys with his own eyes. Compared to only one energy bomb fired at Magneto, Red Skull poured all the energy bombs he brought this time towards the center of the battlefield. In front of saturation bombing, Chu Mu and the tentacle monster are already in a state of imminent death in Red Skull's mind. All will die. Red Skull seems to have seen a future in which he can overcome all difficulties and obstacles. After dumping all the ammunition, Red Skull easily let go of the hand that controlled the launcher. He held up the imaging observation equipment with one hand and beat the guardrail next to him rhythmically with the other hand. The embarrassed Red Skull could tell that he was in a good mood. He just felt that he was still the luckiest person. Even when facing terrifying monsters, he was the one who survived to the end. How to say, is this really going to be the case? 
The energy bombs flying in the direction of Chu Mu and the tentacle monsters have to enter the center of the chaos, so they naturally have many obstacles to avoid. There were even cases where the propulsion devices of several energy bombs hit other things during the avoidance process and were detonated before they reached their destination. A brilliant blue light burst out, annihilating everything around it. And during the flight of these energy bombs, Magneto was already unable to resist. Boom. Although Magneto was constantly retreating, he was also constantly building new shields. However, as the explosion spread, the metal shield he built was annihilated. Even though his ability has been improved by huge amounts, the speed at which he can build a metal shield and retreat is still not as fast as the speed at which a bomb explodes. One side. Both sides. The metal shield is constantly decreasing rapidly, and the power of the explosion is getting closer and closer to Magneto. Magneto, who feels the strong threat of death, will never choose to sit still and wait for nothing. However, even though he kept roaring and maximizing his ability and pushing the speed of controlling metal to the extreme, this resistance was just a delay at best. Under the energy explosion of the Tesseract, the Space Gem, even a small amount of energy is a powerful force that Magneto cannot compete with. Not to mention the Magneto in his current youth, even the Magneto with fully developed abilities in the future is just a bigger ant in front of the power of the level universe. Although Magneto constantly pulled a large amount of metal from the surrounding chaos and rebuilt shields one by one, the energy bomb exploded and spread much faster than him. Seeing that the blue light representing death was getting closer and closer to him, the reflection in Magneto's pupils was gradually filled with a brilliant blue. Are you going to die here? Damn it. I'm not willing to give in. I haven't taken revenge yet. Haven't killed that damn demon yet. Magneto's expression held a hint of the final ferocity of life in the face of death, but his heart was filled with despair. He felt his own weakness in the face of such an explosion. The energy stirred by the explosion was obviously some kind of extremely high-level energy. Even though he had not read any books, Magneto still clearly felt this. This was completely different from the technological weapons he had seen and encountered before, the blue light was getting closer and closer, and Magneto was no longer able to delay the time when he was affected. I'm really, I'm not willing to give in. Even though Magneto had all kinds of resistance in his heart, facing reality, all he could do was close his eyes and wait for the annihilation carried by the blue light to come to him. Just at this time, seeing the spread of the energy bomb explosion, it is about to approach and engulf Magneto mercilessly, and everything around Magneto. Magneto had already closed his eyes and waited for death. Brush, far away. The holy radiance surged. Brush. Just when Magneto was about to be affected by the explosion of the energy bomb, the power full of sacred aura surged out from the center of chaos in the distance at the right time. At an almost incredible speed, it covered a distance of tens of kilometers in an instant, and appeared in front of Magneto in the blink of an eye, wrapping Magneto in it. The entire mutation happened so fast that Magneto didn't even react. He already felt some kind of power containing him. Such a feeling, he had experienced it not long ago. Facing the irresistible power of the tentacle monster, when Chu Mu descended from the sky to save Magneto, Magneto experienced the ups and downs of reincarnation from the dead. This is. Magneto opened his eyes in shock, with an unbelievable look on his face. Not only did he see the blue explosion that he could not shake even if he tried his best, he was directly hit by the shining golden, protective cover, it was blocked outside, but the blue light that seemed to be able to swallow everything could not shake the golden, protective shield, at all. Obviously. This is another high level energy that I cannot understand. It is higher level than the blue energy raging outside. This kind of energy emperor's color has been seen by the city magnet master from the forbidden animal before. Rescued again. At the moment. Magneto didn't know whether he should be happy or sad. A violent explosion. It gradually calmed down outside the golden, protective shield, not only that, Magneto also incredibly found that the injuries on his body had also healed and become healthy in an instant. In the past, because I had to constantly manipulate metal to build a shield, and maintain a rapid retreat at maximum speed, it was inevitable to avoid the broken stone residue along the way. Mortal body. Magneto's handsome face was already scratched and bleeding. Originally. Magneto's whole body was already covered in scars, but his adrenaline surged under the threat of death, which prevented him from collapsing directly due to his injuries. High-speed movement collides with gravel and tree debris, and those who are unlucky may get burped directly. Even if Magneto is lucky, the injury he sustained will probably require him to lie in bed for ten days and a half. However, it was in this state where blood and wounds were all over his body. Under the shroud of sacred power, he was healed as if he had gone back in time saying that he had gone back in time might still be a bit inappropriate. My body feels much healthier than before. 
Magneto found that not only his injuries this time, but also all the old problems left in the concentration camp had disappeared. Not only that. Under the divine light, he even felt that his physical quality had improved. It was not an illusion, but he could deeply feel the condition of his body. How to say? Magneto's feelings were not wrong. The power of the holy light has complex attributes. Even if it is only enveloped by this energy, it will continue to strengthen the physical quality of the person enveloped by the holy light. This effect should sound like some kind of radiation. Radiation beneficial to life. Magneto's physical fitness has been enhanced to a certain extent because he has been exposed to this radiation. The reason why the effect is so obvious is that Magneto's original physical fitness is not very high, mutants' physical fitness is no different from that of normal humans. Is this God? Magneto definitely reacted immediately. He was once again saved from crisis by Chu Mu. His eyes kept flashing and he could not suppress the overwhelming emotions in his heart. Now, he has always prided himself on being extraordinary. Once again, I felt my own insignificance, and the weight of the word, God. The person who saved Magneto was definitely Chu Mu. Although he has been fighting tentacle monsters all the time, the scene is extremely terrifying in the eyes of ordinary people, but from Chu Mu's perspective, this time the battle is not stressful at all for him. It can be said that he is able to handle the tentacle monsters offensive with ease. It cannot pose any threat to him. Perhaps. The tentacle monster's physical strength is much stronger than Chu Mu. Perhaps when the duplication of the tentacle monster first arrived, it also had the power to crush Chu Mu. However, the current strength of the tentacle monsters, to be honest, has not met Chu Mu's expectations at all. He originally thought that he would need to drag the tentacle monsters into other dimensions or universes to fight. I never thought that even if the tentacle monster showed its full power, the scope of the battle would only be as large as a city. This kind of scene may be a natural disaster level crisis for humans, but, in the eyes of level single universe beings like Chu Mu, it is really a little trouble. The tentacle monster can only burst out this little power, which is completely inconsistent with the feeling it brought to Chu Mu before. It can only be said that it is no wonder that the tentacle monster even, successfully, had to cooperate with Red Skull. The curse of a certain powerful person has left the tentacle monster with no place to hide under the scanning of the cosmic consciousness. It is constantly being, checked and killed, perhaps its original strength is no longer enough to reach the tip of the iceberg, from the state of the tentacle monster it is not difficult to see that maybe even if no one attacks the tentacle monster, it will not be able to continue killing it against the consciousness of the universe for too long. One day, it will be completely eliminated by the consciousness of the universe. How to say? At the moment, Chu Mu had some understanding. Maybe even if he didn't take action, the tentacle monster's state probably wouldn't be able to survive until the 21st century to cause trouble. Definitely. It is naturally best to remove the uncertain factor of tentacle monsters. After all, no one can tell how many uncertain timeline changes the tentacle monsters will bring before their demise. In the process of constantly analyzing the source of the tentacle monster's power, Chu Mu had already sentenced the tentacle monster to death. He was also distractedly paying attention to Magneto while continuing to fight the tentacle monster. Yes. Although Chu Mu didn't pay attention to the escaped Red Skull, he still kept an eye on Magneto's movements. After all, Magneto was not very close to him and the tentacle monster during the battle. Even if the strength of the tentacle monster is very weak in Chu Mu's eyes, for a mutant like Magneto, if he is not careful, he will be directly sent back to his hometown by the aftermath of the tentacle monster's rampage. Because of this, Chu Mu must not let Magneto have an accident. In fact, if Chu Mu had not been paying attention to Magneto, Magneto would not have been able to escape so far in the aftermath of the battle. It can be said, Magneto was lucky to escape to a place dozens of kilometers away. Chu Mu's black hand was also at work behind the scenes, and a little multitasking helped Magneto get rid of less fatal troubles. Only. Even so, Chu Mu, who felt that she was a nanny, still didn't expect that after Red Skull escaped, he didn't look for opportunities to escape far away, but actually dared to attack himself and the tentacle monster. And Magneto's side is also the area where Red Skull attacks. This Hydra boss is really bold. Some people still can't see the situation clearly. Seeing that Magneto could not withstand the energy of the Space Gem, Chu Mu naturally used the Holy Sword in his hand to spread some holy light to save Magneto's little lifeguard. Times of day. Saved two lives of Magneto. Chu Mu only felt that he was a really good person. I don't know if Charles would thank himself. Well, with the friendship between Charles and Magneto, he would definitely be reluctant to let Magneto die. Maybe after returning to the future, you can take the time to go to Xavier Academy for gifted youngsters and talk to Charles about the hard work of rescuing Magneto? Charles will definitely not give him. Definitely, if Wanda recognizes Magneto as her father, 
then she can claim credit in front of Wanda. As for asking future Magneto for favors, I can only say that anyone who has watched the X-Men series will understand that this mutant king will never be able to afford two steel shops in his pocket. Poor is really poor. His daily life depends entirely on the believers around him who are deceived by him. In other words, Magneto has an apocalypse ability that is comparable to apocalypse, and he is a liar king who has maxed out his MLM skills. When Chu Mu used to read Marvel comics and movies, it was always strange that Magneto, with his controlling magnetic field ability, would be short of money. The truth is that it is outrageous to open the door to outrageous things. There is one thing to say, even if it is the king of iron, mode shown by Magneto, if this ability is properly utilized, gold mines, silver mines and rare metal mines all over the world, wouldn't it almost become a buffet, as easy as Magneto grabbing something? There's gold in hand. Is there any need to start a mutant rebellion? Money can lead to the gods. Money can not only make the devil push the grindstone, but also make the grindstone push the devil. I can only lament that Magneto has never read Das Kapital, otherwise there would be no Jews controlling the world economy. No mining company can be as powerful as Magneto alone. Look at how big a long metal dragon Magneto pulled out of the ground during the recovery period of Apocalypse. You can save the refining workshop and assembly line, and you can extract the purest precious metals by yourself. I almost want to capture Magneto and use him as a miner. Chu Mu still has time to think about some imaginative things. After blocking the explosion on Magneto's side, Chu Mu naturally noticed the energy bomb on his side. To be honest, to him, the energy of this little space gem was nothing. Not to mention that Hydra's organization did not make reasonable use of the power of space gem. Even if they really knew how to use it, a single space gem would never pose much of a threat to Chu Mu. What a hassle. Chu Mu casually cut off a few of the tentacle monster's tentacles again, and while listening to the tentacle monster's wow wow, he easily and freely crushed all the energy bombs into pieces. Although being hit by a bomb would only be a harmless incident, not even a hair would be missing, but Chu Mu didn't want to be disgusted by Red Skull's sneak attack. It's like dipping the mop given by Ollie won't cause much real-time damage, but most people still don't want to be contaminated by this mop. Storage is disgusting. Boom, boom, boom. Use the power of the mine. All of a sudden. Explosions one after another emitted in the chaotic scene, blue luster kept shining, and the bursts of blue luster were as gorgeous as firework. The energy bomb that Red Skull had high hopes for turned into a fairly beautiful firework, which is definitely the most expensive firework these days. The cost of this firework is comparable to the firework constructed from the explosion of Iron Man Tony, Stark's suit in the future to pick up girls. Iron Man Tony Stark's act of blowing up fireworks is definitely one of the famous scenes in the Marvel Universe, and it is also a super generous move that shocked many people. Although some people say that blowing up the armor is because Iron Man realizes that he is Iron Man not because of the Iron Can suit, so he blows up the armor to show that he understands the meaning of Iron Man as a superhero. But. Chu Mu, who has known Tony Stark for quite some time, still thinks that this guy is rich and willful, and he definitely has some tricks to pick up girls. One thing to say. For people at the level of Tony Stark, money is not just reduced to a series of numbers, but to a series of numbers that are very easy to obtain. Spending billions to watch firework or something like that, Chu Mu felt that if it had that kind of fun and atmosphere, he could spend the money directly without blinking an eye. Boom, boom, with Chu Mu's intervention, all the energy bombs were detonated. None of the energy bombs hit Chu Mu, but several bombs hit the tentacle monster. Ho ho ho. One thing Red Skull may not have made a mistake in judgment is that this energy bomb really poses a threat to the tentacle monsters, and the tentacles are annihilated in a flash. The tentacle monster also let out an extremely painful roar. The Tesseract is also a space gem. As a treasure representing the law of the universe in the Marvel Universe, the law it carries is absolutely effective on tentacle monsters. After all, tentacle monsters are still considered the cosmic consciousness of the Marvel Universe's searching and killing, like crazy. Not only the body of the tentacle monster, but also the waving tentacles are now corrupt, and it is not known how long the tentacle monster can last. Think of this. Chu Mu speeded up his analysis of the tentacle monster's power and then pursued its origin. And at the moment, damn it, what's going on? Far away. When Red Skull saw that his energy bombs did not kill Chu Mu and the tentacle monsters as he expected, but exploded for no reason during the flight, he suddenly looked like he had eaten an ollie. Combined with his skinless face, it looks ugly. Why? Damn it. Why is this happening? Red Skull did not have the means to perceive psychic power, so naturally he had no idea what was going on. He just assumed that there were too many turbulent rocks in the center of the chaos that triggered the bomb in advance. He was very unwilling to believe that his luck was so unlucky, 
while Chung Yu and the tentacle monster were actually so lucky. How to say? Red Skull saw that the energy bomb could destroy the tentacle monsters in pieces, making the tentacle monsters wail in pain. Naturally, Red Skull became more confident that this weapon could destroy Chu Mu and the tentacle monsters. He couldn't tell what the level of power was. After all, he was a country turtle, who had never even walked out of the earth. So when he saw the tentacle monster and Chu Mu fighting back and forth, it was hard to tell the winner. He thought Chu Mu and the tentacle monster were fighting each other. The strength is almost the same. Therefore, since the energy bomb can destroy the tentacles of the tentacle monster, it can naturally also destroy the tentacle monster's body and Chumyu. Red Skull gritted his teeth and kept cursing that his own researchers did not better assemble an avoidance system for the energy bomb. I don't know. This kind of energy bomb can indeed threaten the tentacle monster, but even if Chumyu swallows it directly, it is still impossible to cause any harm to Chumyu. Red Skull's so-called pity is ultimately just his wishful thinking. Even if he were given 10,000 more energy bombs, he probably wouldn't be able to kill the fleas on Chumyu's body. Ahem. This is nothing but a metaphor. There is absolutely no such thing as fleas on Chumyu. It is just assumed that there are fleas on Chumyu. Flea that can create a level single universe life can be regarded as a secret. Definitely not afraid of this little energy bomb. Seeing that his original plan failed, there are no other energy bombs around. Although Red Skull was unwilling to do so, he had been a commander for so many years and knew very well that he probably had no chance of destroying Chumyu and the tentacle monsters. Although other weapons can be found in the dilapidated camp, Red Skull also knows that some conventional weapons are definitely difficult to threaten Chu Mu and the tentacle monsters. Don't kill these two monsters when the time comes, but let these two monsters notice you again, then you are really unlucky and asking for trouble. Red Skull made a quick decision. You are lucky. Wait until I get back. I just need to go back and ask the experimental department to increase research on this weapon. Even if I find the end of the world, I will find you and kill you. Red Skull cursed in a low voice and was about to run away quickly. He rummaged through the dilapidated camp, trying to find a complete battlefield motorcycle. It was a motorcycle that was roughly similar to a child's toy. It was generally used by Hydra's airborne troops on the road. Although it did not run very fast and had a long battery life, it was still stronger than two human legs. Even though Red Skull is a super soldier, his running speed is definitely not as fast as that of a machine. Flesh and flesh are bitter and weak, and machines soar. This sentence does make some sense in a sense. The strengthening serum only strengthens the super soldier, and it is not a superman serum. It cannot give you the physical fitness to run over rolling wheels with two legs. What? Someone wants to mention the Hydra spy who caught up with the driver on two legs after Captain America was strengthened. Do you understand the aura of the protagonist in Captain America's personal incident? Besides. After all, that car was driven in the city. Captain America also knew how to take shortcuts. If we really had to compare the straight line distance with the car, Captain America would not be able to outrun an accelerating car unless he had activated a VIP level plugin. Master Lee Red Skull is sure that he cannot run as fast as the machine. And. In such a place where the ground is constantly shaking, even though the location is the outermost earthquakes, still have a great impact on running. If it weren't for the fact that he couldn't find a complete fighter plane, Red Skull would actually want to escape in a fighter plane. The fighter planes developed by Hydra through Black Technology and Tesseract can take off in harsh conditions. However, all the fighters are basically in the air. It was destroyed by Chu Mu before. Think of this. Red Skull cursed Chu Mu in his heart while rummaging through the ruins and dilapidated camps for transportation. Even the small motorcycle he wanted to find was almost impossible to find intact. This is broken. Damn it. Another bad guy. Almost all of them were destroyed by the execution in the aftermath of the meteor fire shower used by Chu Mu before. Red Skull angrily threw away the Unstar Table motorcycles one after another in his hands and kept cursing Chu Mu in his heart. He didn't know. Chu Mu did not pay attention to his movements before, but after he launched those energy bomb attacks on Magneto, Chu Mu and the tentacle monsters, Chu Mu once again brought him into his close attention. The main purpose is to prevent this guy from doing anything else. He wasn't afraid of any sneak attacks, but it wouldn't be good if Magneto was targeted by this guy. Therefore, Chu Mu, who multitasked, clearly heard Red Skull's curse on himself. If you weren't indispensable in this era, I would really want to crush you like an ant. Chu Mu's psychic power was directly locked on Red Skull. His voice suddenly sounded in Red Skull's mind. Not to mention that Red Skull does not carry any psychic protection equipment. As a lost dog, even if Hydra has this technology, he currently does not have the conditions to carry it. Moreover, even if Red Skull can transform a psychic protection device out of thin air, 
even if the psychic protection device he creates is made of materials from Magneto's future helmet. But. The psychic protection equipment made of that kind of material can still only be regarded as a relatively fragile shell in the face of Chu Emu's current psychic power level. Use a little more force. You can easily go in. This may sound a bit ambiguous, but it is basically the same truth. If you think about it carefully, you will understand that it is very vivid. Definitely. Red Skull didn't know this. He suddenly heard Chu Emu's voice in his mind, and Red Skull was immediately shocked. A face that was almost always red because it had no skin and only muscle tissue, at the moment also took on a bit of a pale look. It's like the way fresh tendon meat looks after being soaked in white water for several hours, well, this is another vivid metaphor. Red Skull's complexion could change so much in an instant, which shows that he was really frightened, he had no idea that Chu Mu had such ability. Psychic means. As the leader of Hydra, Hydra also conducts research on variant abilities within Hydra, so the psychic power Red Skull is naturally no stranger to it. No wonder this monster wanted to save the man. It turns out they are the same kind. Red Skull seemed to suddenly realize that he regarded Chu Mu and Magneto as mutants. He is knowledgeable, it's just that, he doesn't have much knowledge. It is reasonable to have this misunderstanding, after all, there is not much difference in essence between Chu Mu's psychic power and mutant's psychic power. Red Skull naturally easily regards Chu Mu as a mutant. And. Red Skull thinks about it again now. I also feel that the wings made of some kind of brilliance, the ability falling from the sky, is probably a variant of ability, there is no god in this world. There are multiple ability mutants. This is the judgment of Red Skull Chu Mu. If it were in the past, or when it was leading a large army, Red Skull would definitely not be able to help but try to catch Chu Mu. But. Now that he has witnessed the battle between Chu Mu and the tentacle monster, and that he has no force to use, Red Skull longs to catch this experimental object even in the deepest part of his heart, but he also knows that he is too busy to take care of himself. My heart was almost filled with fear. I don't care about evil research at all, and I almost don't care about mutant research. With this kind of ability, wouldn't all my thoughts be understood by the other party? Red Skull just had time to think about it, and the thought of this. Red Skull's heart was trembling even more. He couldn't bear to think about Hydra's many secrets being exposed. At the moment, he was worried that his previous curses would be overheard. Keep thinking about the language he used when he was cursing before, Red Skull's face became even more pale. He felt that if he had heard him being cursed like that, he would probably never let the person who cursed him go. After all, he has used up most of the curse words in the German vocabulary. Even. Because he felt it was a bit unsatisfying, he also used some curse words in Italian. We could only hope that this monster was not familiar with German and Italian. Thoughts in the heart. Are there any differences based on language? Urgent. Waiting online. For the thoughts in my heart. Scientists have also made a lot of guesses. This thing is the voice of the heart. Are there any language restrictions? Are the words you mutter in your heart really still the language you learned? Many scientists believe that people have voices first, and then language. Voices are something unique to the human soul, also called a person's thoughts. They cannot be described in words, but they can be expressed in words. The reason they think so is that babies have their own thoughts even before they learn language. Babies don't understand language. So how does a baby's thoughts produce voices? It cannot be said that a person cannot have any thoughts in his heart before learning any language. Definitely. There are also scientists who have different opinions, but benevolent people have different opinions. Verifying the truth is something that scientists on earth cannot do at least at the moment. It's like some kind of paradox. It is almost impossible to verify this magical thing. Moreover, almost no one can remember clearly what happened when they were babies. Red Skull is also not sure whether his inner voice will be understood by Chu Mu. All he can do is to pray that his inner voice will be different in language, and Chu Mu does not understand German and Italian. How to say it? Red Skull. This can be regarded as a performance that is cowardly to the core. Despite his unconvinced attitude, he claimed that as long as he went back, he would give good results to Chu Mu and the tentacle monsters, but in this case, he immediately began to be afraid. Why are you in my head? No. Red Skull's whole body trembled. He wanted to escape. It's best to escape as far away as possible, even though my heart is full of fear of Chu Mu and the unpredictable means of Chu Mu's spiritual power. But. Red Skull was still able to rely on his remaining sanity to recall that psychic means would be limited by the distance between the two parties. If the distance between the two parties is too far, the owner of the psychic power cannot continue to maintain a stopped state. About this situation. Scientists within Hydra have conducted many experiments using mutant. B. 
Because of this, when Red Skull thought of this, he just wanted to escape as far away as possible. He thinks. As long as you keep a certain distance from Chu Mu, you can interrupt Chu Mu's intrusion into your own mind. How can I put it? Red Skull's judgment is not wrong. For ordinary possessors of psychic powers, distance is indeed an excellent way to limit the use of their abilities. Even Charles cannot invade people who are too far away without using a brainwave enhancer, however, it can only be said that it is forbidden. Obviously it is not within the scope of common sense. And. Red Skull's idea of. Escaping as far away as possible has no possibility of success. He just subconsciously wanted to escape on the intact motorcycle he just found. The next moment. But he directly felt that his body seemed to be restrained by invisible power, and he immediately stopped raising his arms on a small motorcycle. From the entire scene, it looks like Red Skull has pressed the pause button, but Red Skull's consciousness is very clear. Boundless fear. The Red Skull is once again enveloped. He began to regret his previous behavior of launching energy bombs. If he had escaped directly, he would not be caught again by Chu Mu now. No you shouldn't even come out this time. If you don't come out, you won't encounter this kind of thing. You shouldn't have cooperated with that tentacle monster just for ambition. At the moment. Red Skull felt a lot of regret in his heart. How to say. People. Whether they are Westerners or Easterners, or people at the top or at the bottom. They all have the same shortcomings, which is that they only regret when the situation turns bad. If the incident hadn't come to light and things hadn't gone in the direction they didn't want to see, they would never have woken up. It can only be said that the human nature of most people in the world is like this. This is especially true for a narcissist like Red Skull, he began to feel annoyed and regretful, and completely lost his previous vow of revenge. It's actually faster than the face changing in Sichuan Opera. Do not kill me, still the original recipe still the same spineless. This kind of performance is aside from the fact that Red Skull is just an ordinary strengthening person. He used to have the most powerful attitude of the world, but now he has immediately changed into a villain begging for mercy. The feeling that only if I am in Lan, the world will be possible. Typical bully and fear of the strong. As soon as he meets someone he can't beat, he immediately loses all energy. The standard code is the code, far away. Through the power of his mind, Chu Mu felt the emotional changes in Red Skull's heart and was speechless for a while. He was really afraid that he could not help but crush this sinister villain to death. Real. If we go by the popular saying in later generations, Red Skull is completely a representative of the classic villain character, a classic within a classic, a type that can make others call his family members who understand. Master, save me. Good guy. After begging Chu Mu for mercy, he found that Chu Mu did not respond. This guy actually asked the tentacle monster for help in his heart. He had no idea that the tentacle monster had no connection with his soul. Even. There is a question mark as to whether tentacle monsters have psychic powers, maybe tentacle monsters were able to do it before. But these years, the tentacle monster seems to be just a boss with low health. Every action. It will consume the tentacle monster's few strength. This is also the biggest reason why tentacle monsters have to hide in special rooms and send people like Red Skull to act on their behalf. One thing to say. The tentacle monster has a complete mentality of taking advantage of Red Skull. It has never looked at this human being. How could it be distracted and pay attention to Red Skull when fighting Chu Mu? Can only say. Red Skull really overestimates himself. Moreover, even if the tentacle monster can really hear his cry for help, and really pays enough attention and care to him, in the hands of Chu Mu, the tentacle monster obviously cannot save Red Skull. After all, the tentacle monster is now too busy to take care of itself state. Having already assumed so many ifs, the tentacle monster still doesn't have the ability to save people, let alone there are no ifs in this world. Every second I pay attention to this guy, the more I want to crush him to death. Chu Mu has no discrimination against ordinary bad guys, but he really looks down on villains like Red Skull. Others like Thanos are at least good. Those who can die calmly know what it means to become a king and lose a bandit. On the other hand, Red Skull. Chu Mu really feels that his ability to become the leader of Hydra, and his belief in Hydra in the future, is definitely due to the dividends of the times. Definitely. There is definitely nothing wrong with Red Skull's tactics and ability to deceive people, but. His character is simply not worthy of his famous name. Out of sight out of mind. After all, Chu Mu has not forgotten that Red Skull has a great influence on the direction of history, so he can only use, Raven teleportation, to directly throw Red Skull back to the German Empire. As for Magneto, Chu Mu also used, Raven Teleportation, to send Magneto away. Raven Teleportation. One thing that is very good about this ability is that it can teleport to any place Chu Mu has set foot on, and this kind of teleportation is not limited by time. 
What does that mean? It's definitely not that it can help Chu Mu travel through time. Maybe this ability will grow in the future to be able to do this. However, the current, Raven teleportation, has no ability to travel through time. Its so called disregard for time means that it can ignore Chu Mu. How long has Mu been there? For example, if Chu Mu has been to Germany in the future, Chu Mu can still use Raven teleportation to arrive in Germany during World War E. After sending away Red Skull, Chu Mu sent away Magneto and Magneto's destination. Just find a safe place to send him there. Um, what better and safer place to be than Charles's bedroom? No. After using Raven teleport to send away Red Skull and Magneto, only Chu Mu and the tentacle monsters that kept going crazy were left in the entire chaotic battlefield area. As for other things, basically, everything is in a state of collapse and flying in the storm. Even the mountains, rivers and the earth are not immune. Naturally, no animal in the world can survive in such an environment. In fact, most of the animals that had not had time to escape when the battle broke out were reduced to flesh and blood, and their bones were ground into pieces by the raging storm. Shuhashua, the tentacle monster's tentacles are still waving constantly, but its power is so weak in front of Chu Mu that there is no way to pose any threat to Chu Mu. You are getting weaker and weaker. It will soon be your time to die. Chu Mu spoke softly with the corners of his mouth raised, and his relaxed and relaxed posture made the tentacle monster furious. Do you think I can't do anything to you? Damn strange god, you forced me to do this. Even if you die, I will let you and I perish together. Finally, the tentacle monster seems to have finally made up its mind about hesitation. It definitely has a backhand. As an ancient and powerful existence, how could it only wave its body and carry out the most brutal attacks? The reason why it keeps attacking Chu Mu with its tentacles is, in the final analysis, because of itself. It is really too weak. After being severely injured many years ago, it has been subjected to the search and killing of the cosmic consciousness. In recent years, it has not even dared to move too much in the sun, for fear of the intensification of the cosmic consciousness. Great pressure on it. Original. It wants to stay dormant. It has been waiting for an opportunity in the dark ditch of the world, waiting for the main body's assistance. However, the significance of the god's army is too important for it. This is an opportunity for the subject to achieve another leap in life level. You must know that its body is already so powerful that it should have no chance of rising anymore. But. The new god. With such huge amounts of temptation, he finally let it reappear in the world, but in order to preserve its little remaining power, it did not dare to move too much on the earth. Because of this, he chose Red Skull, an ambitious and powerful man, to act on his behalf. God's legions. It did not hide this kind of thing from Red Skull, not only because it did not bother to lie to the ants, but also because Red Skull did not pose any threat to him to obtain God's legion and obtain God's authority, but it was nothing anyone who finds God's legions can inherit God's position. Inside, there is also a qualification that needs to be paid attention to. Just like in ancient dynasties, not just anyone can sit on the throne. Red Skull has a mortal body and has no divinity. It is just like a child getting a planetary computer, and it doesn't even have the qualifications to start it. None, in the final analysis, Red Skull is just the tool of the tentacle monster. It doesn't fool Red Skull either, strictly speaking. It just doesn't tell the whole truth about Red Skull. After finding the Angel Legion, the tentacle monster can definitely tell Red Skull how to drive and control the Angel Legion. Will the means that can be driven and controlled be effective in Red Skull's hands? This is not the tentacle monster's promise that Red Skull will 100% work. After all, the last paradise belongs to me. Different from Red Skull. The divinity in Chu Mu is rich and strong. And. Tentacle monsters can also perceive it, and Chu Mu has even begun to use the power of heaven. In this case, it is also clear that Chu Mu is qualified to take away God's authority. The other party had even obtained the gate of heaven one step ahead of him, seeing that his remaining power of was not enough to snatch God's legacy from Chu Mu. There is no way. Although the tentacle monster did not want to sacrifice, it could only make the decision to sacrifice. He had to use his last strength to use the power of law he carried. And after using the law that does not belong to this world with all its strength, it will be as conspicuous as a light bulb, and will be destroyed and strangled by the concentrated consciousness of the universe. Being able to help the main body gain the authority of God is the most worthwhile and necessary sacrifice in the eyes of the tentacle monster. In fact, it has little to do with Chu Emu's provocation and disdain. If it can help the main body gain the authority of God, then as long as it waits for the main body to become the new god, then it will naturally be resurrected and rewarded by the main body as the number one hero. I thought so in my heart. The tentacle monster made a decision. It unleashed its own power. 
inside the body of the tentacle monster. The power contained in the depths of the soul was touched, as a duplication, it also has a soul. Strictly speaking, it is the life created by tearing off a small piece of its own soul. Because of this, only tentacle monsters can carry the power of the main body. Although there is a difference in strength and weakness between it and the ontology, it essentially uses the laws that belong to the ontology. Even if it is only a tiny bit, it is still the strongest law. The tentacle monster firmly believes that the strange god in front of him is simply not worth mentioning in front of the power of the main body. What if we can borrow the power of heaven? If you do not truly control the last heaven left by God, if you do not obtain the authority of God to become a new God, you will be vulnerable to the power of the law of the body. Fall with me. The tentacle monster let out a roar full of madness and madness. At the same time, the tentacles that covered the sky and the sun in the air were all retracted by it at the same time, and the invisible fluctuations spread in all directions, changing everything. Um? Chu Mu only felt that the world around him was covered by a new dimension. This feeling was like the mirror world covering the real world. He didn't panic. There was no pointless confrontation. Chu Mu also has his own dimension and knows that this is the tentacle monster covering the power of a certain dimension into reality. This is not a process that can be easily stopped. Definitely. There is absolutely no need to block it. After the power of one dimension covers reality, it is true that the rules of this dimension will affect his power and performance. How to describe it? The rules of a dimension are like the basic logic of a world. If there is no physical law in a dimension, then the physical law will lose its meaning in this dimension. And if a dimension stipulates that men can become pregnant out of thin air, then after entering this dimension, ten virgins can become pregnant in a blink of an eye. Dimension rules. There is no logic at all. It all depends on how the owner of the dimension constructs his or her own dimensional world. I have to say that rashly entering someone else's dimensional world is definitely a dangerous behavior. But. From this dimensional coverage, Chu Mu can also better trace the origin of the tentacle monsters. Therefore, he definitely does not need to prevent the tentacle monsters from using their trump cards. As for whether it would overturn in the opponent's dimension, Chu Mu has not considered this issue. At worst, he can also pull out his own dimensional world. The dimensional coverage of the tentacle monster may be just a dimensional projection, not a real dimensional coverage, and Chu Mu has more than one dimensional world. The smell of sulfur. Everything around me began to change rapidly. It's like a canvas has been wiped out of its original colors and then filled with new humor. Everything in the surrounding space is being replaced by the advent of dimensions. Is it just a projection? From the dimensional fluctuations covering reality, Chu Mu judged that the tentacle monster was just projecting a dimension. This situation was also what he had expected before. It is not a simple matter to let the real dimension cover reality. Besides, the burden that needs to be borne is obviously not something that the current tentacle monster can bear in its residual health state, definitely, although dimensional projection is better than real the dimension is slightly inferior, but it will still have the power of the dimension rule, but the strength of this rule will be greatly reduced because it is only a projection. I also said that I can finally let go and have a good fight. Chu Mu was slightly disappointed, but, he still didn't interrupt the process of dimensional coverage, after all, he actually had his own purpose in letting the tentacle monster use this trump card. Not only is he confident in his own power, but he also wants to use this dimensional projection to conduct a more careful exploration of the origins of the monsters he talks about. Even if it is not a true dimensional coverage, it is a dimensional projection coverage, which has the most original dimensional attributes, and can still allow Chu Mu to better trace the origin of the tentacle monsters. Know from the smell that appeared in this dimension, Chu Mu had already discovered some cobweb horse traces. Smell of sulfur. This is what Chu Mu discovered immediately after the dimensional projection of the tentacle monster covered reality. Throughout the dimension, they are all filled with a sulfur smell that cannot be ignored. This smell is not unfamiliar to Chu Mu, who has also dealt with creatures that smell like this. Witch Heart Demon, Mephisto, and on Ghost Rider. They all have exactly the same smell that is still fresh in people's minds. Therefore, after smelling this smell, Chu Mu has probably already made an accurate judgment about the origin of the tentacle monster. It turns out to be Mephista from the Hell Dimension. No wonder he keeps talking about God's army. It turns out he wants to create an army of fallen angels. Chu Mu looked at the surroundings that were gradually shrouded in darkness. There were purgatory-like scenes everywhere. He already knew exactly where the tentacle monster came from. Definitely. We only know the general identity of the tentacle monster, but we still don't know the location of the tentacle monster itself. After all, tracing back the location of Mephista's headquarters in one dimension in the endless universe is certainly not a simple matter. Mephista in the Hell dimension especially knows how to do this. Hide. Haha, 
it seems you have some knowledge. In the dark purgatory. The low and vicious voice of the tentacle monster appeared. I just don't know. Which hell dimension are you a Mephista? Chu Mu looked in a direction in the darkness, and the white gold divine power surged in his eyes, giving him the vision to see through illusions and point to the truth. Do you think I would tell you this easily? The tentacle monster is not like most villains, who speaks out when it thinks it is winning, it is still cautious and careful enough. How to say? There is nothing wrong with such caution and caution. After all, Mephista from the Hell Dimension. Almost every statue has extremely obvious shortcomings. If a well informed opponent knows its origin, it is difficult to say whether the opponent has ever understood its own weaknesses. There are many hells. Dot, but in my opinion, there are only a few Mephistas who can reach out to our universe and dare to try to get involved with the Angel Legion. Chu Emu's voice was calm and magnetic, without any feeling of panic at all. He was thinking about the possible identity and origin of the tentacle monster in his heart. As everyone knows, there are many devils and demons in hell. However, but few people know, hell is not a unified place, it is more like an ecosystem composed of countless dimensions. Each Mephista has its own dimensional world in the ecosystem of hell. Chu Mu can't figure out whether the tentacle monster is the Hell Mephista in the DC universe or the Hell Mephista in the Marvel universe, but the hells in the two universes generally have the same structure. As long as they are not related to the god of the DC universe, the power gap between the dimension Mephista in the DC universe and the dimension Mephista in the Marvel universe is not particularly obvious. In terms of the strength of God's family, the Marvel universe and the DC universe are two extremes. God in the DC universe is almost equivalent to OAA in the Marvel universe. If you want to grab this thing, your duplication is not enough. Chu Mu looked at the back of his hand. He felt that the origin of the Gate of Heaven might have a lot to do with the DC universe. Because of this. No wonder the tentacle monster wants to get it so much. No matter it is the dimension Mephista of the DC universe or the dimension Mephista of the Marvel universe, they cannot refuse such a thing. Haha, <laughs> you overestimate yourself and underestimate me. Strange god, today is the day you fall. You will pay the price for your arrogance. The tentacle monster's voice seemed to sound from all directions in the entire dimensional projection at the same time. But. The direction Chu Mu was looking at did not change. Where was the specific location of his tentacle monster? Chu Mu didn't take the threat of the tentacle monster seriously. As long as the tentacle monster wasn't Lucifer from the DC universe, he didn't think it had the ability to kill him. The tentacle monster definitely cannot be the Lucifer of the DC universe. As we all know, how narcissistic the Lucifer of the DC universe is. That guy will never tolerate his duplication looking so ugly. Therefore, the tentacle monster his identity is naturally not DC narcissist Lucifer. Among the gods on the hell side, in most dimensions, Mephista and Chu Mu feel that as long as they don't step into the opponent's territory, they can at least protect themselves. If they really can't defeat them, they won't be killed by the opponent. But, if he encountered Mephista from a dimension like DC Universe's Lucifer, the biological son of DC Universe, then Chu Mu would still know that he would definitely be unbeatable. This is true whether it is in the Lucifer dimension of the DC Universe or in the real universe. You must know that God in the DC Universe is equivalent to the OAA in the Marvel Universe. They are all omniscient and omnipotent creator gods. And Lucy Law of the DC Universe is the most perfect one created by God of the DC Universe, Angel. DC Superhero and Villain Strength Ceiling, definitely. Giant Ferocious Beasts must be excluded. After all, strictly speaking, the Giant Ferocious Beast is just the other side of God. It can still be regarded as God, Lucifer. His strength is second only to DC God. Playing a pivotal role in many major events in the DC Universe, Chu Mu even suspected that Lucifer in the DC Universe has power beyond the multi-universe level. Therefore, Chu Mu, whose current strength is only level single universe, naturally would not want to fight with such a being. However, the ugly appearance of the tentacle monster also shows that it is obviously not a duplication of Lucifer. As everyone knows, Lucifer in the DC Universe is an extreme narcissist who attaches great importance to appearance. How could he turn his duplication into a huge amount of tentacle monster? If the DC Universe is really shattered and God disappears as Chu Mu suspected, then Lucifer in the DC Universe will not be as eager for God's position as the tentacle monster is. According to Chu Mu's previous knowledge of DC comics and spin offs, if the DC Universe is indeed destroyed and Lucifer, the biggest villain in the DC Universe, is still alive, I guess this guy will only celebrate his victory. Freedom. Maybe you will hide in some small universe and play the role of a Los Angeles police detective? Thinking about it in my heart. Chu Mu watched calmly as the tentacle monster completely covered reality with dimensional projection. This speed is really slow. 
he complained secretly in his mind. One thing to say, if he didn't want to, with the speed of the tentacle monster, he really wouldn't be able to completely cover the dimensional projection into reality. True. It is indeed not easy to resist using dimensional projection to cover reality, but the state of the tentacle monster is not normal. If it is slightly hindered, it will probably be overwhelmed and fail to use its ability. Is this your trump card? The dimensional projection of your body? Do you want to use this power to make me immortal? Chum Yu asked three consecutive soul questions about the dark depths of purgatory. The tentacle monster was not angered and did not respond to Chu Emu's question. It snorted in the darkness, and then the surrounding dark purgatory was distorted again. I saw. In a blink. The originally terrifying purgatory was transformed into a seemingly beautiful suburban scene, just like a rusty piece of art that suddenly lost its rust and showed its original beauty again. Far away. You can see a highway with constant traffic. And where Chu Mu is standing. It is a row of houses built with fired bricks, probably belonging to the architectural style that appeared in the Sun Never Sets Empire in Chester during the First Industrial Revolution. With its red brick walls, red chimneys, and the few rising smoke, this area looks like a suburban community where many people live and work in peace and contentment. There is even a small mailbox outside the courtyard of each house, and the roads connecting each house are paved with stone slabs. Showing the prosperity of the early industrial era, Chu Mu is no stranger to the empire on which the sun never sets in the era of the Industrial Revolution. He has always studied history well. Manchester, the empire where the sun never sets, was the birthplace of the first Industrial Revolution. It also became one of the most famous industrial centers in the world during the first Industrial Revolution. It is not only the home city of today's famous football clubs, but also a microcosm of the urban development process of the British Industrial Revolution since the 19th century. At the same time, the significance of this Industrial Revolution era is no different than the Stone Age's generation entering the Bronze Age, it is an artifact that is enough to leave a trace in the entire history of the Earth. Modern cities herald a new era in the development of human civilization. As a result, new social systems have multiplied, the complex relationships in human social life have been changed, and society has gradually developed into a complex system similar to the human body. And the importance of cities to this system is comparable to that of the brain and the human body. The role of the heart in the human body. It is like a center that can change human behavior habits and daily reactions, and plays an important role in the formation of the human social ecology of the earth. Hey, what do you want to do with this kind of trick? Chu Mu felt like she had traveled back in time to the empire where the sun never set during the Great Smog. Different from those temporary studio environments set up for film shooting, everything around is full of traces and atmosphere left by people's years of life. This is a historical charm that cannot be restored in any movie or TV series. Not only the buildings, but also seemingly normal humans among the surrounding houses and fields. They were busy with their own affairs, as if they could not see the sudden appearance of Chu Mu, as if Chu Mu only existed in their invisible vision. A piece of history is imprisoned here. Chu Mu looked around with interest. Yes, with his perception of the surroundings, he could clearly tell that this was a period of history that was separated from the real world by some force. Real existence it will never move into the future. It's like a movie. A closed loop that will repeat itself for a period of time. And the life within. But I couldn't perceive any abnormalities at all. I have given them eternal life. A cold and deep voice sounded from all directions. They will live happily here forever. Originally, this will be a gift that I will bring back to the body when I return, so that the body can see the specialties of your world. But. Now. You will also be buried in this period of time. After I die, you will be buried with me along with this period of time. Have to say, the tentacle monster's plan was pretty good. It's not outright stupid either. The reason why this segment of history was pulled out after the advent of dimensional projection is that it also knows that it is obviously difficult to kill Chu Mu with dimensional projection alone. But, it does not need to use the law in dimensional projection to defeat Chu Mu, it only needs to use the power of dimensional projection to trap Chu Mu in this world. It is different from dimensional projection. The power of dimensional projection comes from the ontology. And this period of time is deeply tied to it. It will be destroyed with its demise. The idea behind tentacle monsters is simple. That is, it will drag Chu Mu to death together, when the cosmic consciousness of the Marvel Universe completely checks and kills it, even this sealed time will be completely eliminated. W. By the time Chu Mu, who is trapped in this period of time, will suffer the destruction of cosmic consciousness just like it. The tentacle monster doesn't think it can compete with the consciousness of this universe based on Chu Emu's strength. As for the gate of heaven, God's authority. As long as this strange god dies with him, 
the gate of heaven will naturally become ownerless again. And once one's own body feels its own death, it will inevitably separate a force to come to this world again and receive the information that it has left in this world. By the time, the gate to heaven and the authority of God are all in the possession of his own body, the tentacle monster at the moment is as calm and calm as if the entire future has been planned. In its opinion, everything is a done deal.